Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful wind chime using a glass bottle. It's actually a bottle of barbecue sauce, so any kind of bottle that you have, it doesn't have to be a wine bottle, it doesn't have to be this type of bottle, whatever you have laying around, you can use and recycle. So the first thing I did is scored my bottle and I'm using a wine bottle scoring tool that I will link down below and I'm using a little bit of styrofoam at the base so I could get the right length that I want. And then I just turn the bottle with even and slow pressure to get my score line. And there's my cat in the background. <laughs> I used the method where you put the bottle in hot water and cold water alternating until the score line cracks. And this one was a little bit harder, I think because this type of bottle is more thin and the score line wasn't perfect. I did have like an overlapping score line on this one so I used a spoon and just sort of encouraged it to break where I wanted it. And just keep in mind that um, this doesn't always go to plan when you're breaking bottles this way. Sometimes it breaks where you don't want it. So have extras so you can do more than one attempt if needed. And the glass edge will be sharp. So I used some sandpaper and a little bit of water to soften those edges. And the water is just so that you don't get any glass dust particles in the air. You don't want to breathe that in. So the water helps keep that down. So I decided to do a bird design on this one, but you could do any design you want. And I printed it on some label paper so that I could stick the design down and paint over top of it and then remove the sticker and have that kind of blank space left. So I cut my label paper out and I stuck it on the glass bottle. And just make sure your glass is really clean. You could always clean it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol to make sure that it is uh, nice and clean and no fingerprints on it. So I pressed that down and then I went ahead and painted on top of that. And to give it a cool kind of like stippled texture, I used baking soda. So what you do is you use acrylic paint and I just mixed together two different blues to get like a soft kind of sky blue color. And then I sprinkled the baking soda on top. I don't really have an exact measurement, um, but this will give it when you use a sponge and you stipple it on, it gives sort of like a, a rough, bumpy texture. So I just cut a little bit off of a kitchen sponge for this and I dipped my sponge into the paint and just stippled it on and I just did one coat. I didn't really need any more than one. I just, after it dried, I went back through and if there was any spots that were missing paint, I went back over that and then let it completely dry. And once it was completely dry, I actually just waited overnight. I removed my sticker and this leaves a nice blank space. And in my case, it's the shape of a bird and then I used my exacto knife just to kind of clean up the edges a little bit. Just to make sure it was really nice and clean, I used a q-tip and cleaned off the surface. And to make that bird really pop, I painted the inside with uh, just white acrylic paint. So it gave it kind of like that reverse painted effect, which I think looks really cool. So while that was drying, I glued my bales onto my little forks that I'm using in my wind chime to uh, be the noise makers. So I got these cute, they're like the little tiny forks. I got them at a thrift store and they just have pretty flower designs on them. And I am using E6000 glue to glue the bales on them so that I can string them onto my wind chime.
And to hold all the pieces together, I'm just using this lid from an olive jar that I, I poked holes in it using a nail and hammer and I'm just painting it white so it matches. And uh, essentially this is gonna be what I string everything onto so that I can attach it to my wind chime. And once my pieces were dry, I used this clear top coat just to protect it. I also painted some wooden beads to be decorative elements in my wind chime and I'm using some smaller green beads as well. Uh, so now it's time to put everything together and I'm using this purple cord as my string. You can use twine or whatever you want. So I cut five lengths of the cord for uh, the forks and I cut them all the same length and then I double knotted the cord onto the forks and strung some beads. And here's what they look like done. I just put the same amount of beads on each one. I didn't do beads all the way to the top. I just kind of wanted an accent right on top of the fork. And then I tied them onto the lid that I had hammered holes into. Once I had all five of those strung onto the lid, this is what it looks like. And then I needed to put the middle string through. I tied a knot at the very top, leaving, I don't know, like six inches at the top to hang it later on. Uh, but I strung that through the lid to my very top piece. and then I twisted the top back onto the piece. And this is what kind of holds everything together is this middle string. Then I put a second knot where I wanted the lid to be and I strung that through the lid and put a knot that would go right underneath the lid and those two knots kind of hold it in place where I want it. So for the middle part, I didn't want to just use another fork. I wanted something different for what is called the clapper of the wind chime and this is what goes back and forth and makes the noise and hits all the other components. And so I used a few different sizes of beads and then I actually used a rock that I had drilled a hole in. So I do think the sound of the rocks on the metal is a really pretty sound. And if you're interested in how I drilled a hole in a rock, I will leave the link down below for you and uh, you can see how I did that. And then I made sure the rock was hitting the right part of the fork and tied a knot at the bottom once I was sure. So these are all the different components and when you pick it up, this is essentially uh, what happens. The middle part goes up to the, the top of, of the bottle and then everything is hanging down and when the wind blows, it's going to make a pretty sound. And to hang it, I instead of just using the, the string, I added this metal ring uh, so I could hang it easier. And that's it, here's the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.